Welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 5870 2GB GDDR5 iFinity 6 video card. What's included with the HIS HD 5870 video card is an installation guide, software and drivers, a case badge, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 game coupon, one mini display port, two HDMI adapter, two mini display ports, two DVI adapters, and two mini display ports, two regular display port adapters, crossfire bridge, and two power adapters. One is a six pin and the other is an 8-pin. This video card has a PCI Express interface of 2.1 and it's based on the RV870 core which is built on the 40 nanometer manufacturing process and has 2.15 billion transistors. This cooler is massive and it's comprised of a plastic top with a blower style fan. This fan pulls in cool air forces it across the heatsink and then ports all the warm air outside of the case. It has heat pipes which are incorporated in the heatsink. There are lots of fins and the base plate comes in direct contact with the GPU and memory. There are six mini DisplayPort video connections. But remember that they include a number of mini DisplayPort adapters. So connecting displays with DVI, HDMI, or regular size DisplayPorts is not really an issue. At the top of the card are the Crossfire bridge connections. This video card requires two power cable connections. One is a 6-pin and the other is an 8-pin. The power consumption is 228 watts at maximum load and 34 watts at idle. So a quality power supply that can handle the load is very crucial, especially in a multiple video card crossfire configuration. The core speed on this product is 850 megahertz and the two gigabytes of GDDR5 256 bit memory is 4.8 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 1600 stream processing units for vertex pixel and geometry data, 80 texture units, and 32 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 27.2 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 68 gigapixels per second. And the memory bandwidth is 153.6 gigabytes per second. This product has too many technologies to cover in detail in this video, but let me mention the main ones. It has TerraScale 2 unified processing architecture for physics. Image quality enhancement allows sharper scenes. Stream acceleration technology to run applications faster. Crossfire X multi-GPU technology allows dual, triple, and quad GPU scaling and PowerPlay power management technology which enables low power consumption at idle. It also has iFinity technology which enables many displays to be connected at once. For example, three displays can be connected simultaneously and each display can have a resolution up to 2560 by 1600 which is an incredible amount of desktop real estate. While the other technologies are impressive, DirectX 11 really stands out, especially amongst gamers. This image clearly shows the difference between DirectX 10 and DirectX 11. DirectX 11 allows more eye candy because it gives game developers the tools required to produce mind-blowing graphics, effects, and much more. Additionally, a Vivo HD video and display technology enables superior quality and a high-definition visual experience. Now let's have a listen to the video card's fan at different fan speeds. Remember, the video card driver sets the fan speed automatically, but it can be set manually.
In order to keep this video review as short as possible, I did not illustrate how to set up and configure and use an iFinity setup, but I will be producing a video after this video review on just that. Now this video card is almost identical to a standard HD 5870 video card, except this video card comes with two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory as opposed to just one gigabyte and this video card has six mini DisplayPort connections as opposed to three normally that you'd find on a standard HD 5870 video card. Now this video card has all the technologies and features that you'd find in a standard HD 5870 video card and that is a fantastic product as this is. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.